When it comes to sports or clubs, parents expect to pay a fee for uniforms and gear, but to pay for where to practice and meet? Some parents think this significant fee could cost their kids a chance to participate. Our Alexandria Hoff is in Ben Salem to explain why this is happening. Well, I learned tonight that the school district says it has no choice but to start charging nonprofits for the use of district space. That space was once free, and that is not sitting well with some parents and coaches. For years, youth athletic teams and clubs here in Ben Salem have practiced and hosted games inside of school district facilities, but the fate of such events are now in question. My kids have all come to the program. Historically, 501c3 nonprofits have had hourly occupancy fees waived. It made it so that they could use school district property for meetings or practices, and it helped keep registration costs down for families. But last week, that changed. If you're a nonprofit and you try to use the school district facility, it's going to affect you severely. Eric Price is the president of Ben Salem Youth Wrestling and athletic director of Valley Athletic Association. He told me charging for gym time means registration fees will double, if not triple, perhaps shutting down some teams altogether. It's been kind of weird just going from place to place, and, you, and I never know where we're going to go until we get there. Yeah. They've been meeting at the mall or at Neshaminy State Park. Stacy Champion's daughter is a Girl Scout, and since this district decision, the troop has had to try and find new places to meet. It's heartbreaking. It's disgraceful that it took so long to, you know, put this out when the school year's already started. A statement from Superintendent Samuel Lee to Eyewitness News reads in part, quote, Factors prompting this work are the cost to maintain fields and indoor venues and fair and equitable utilization opportunities for all of our community partners. Unfortunately, the district's financial position no longer supports our desire and history of renting our facilities at little or no cost. Parents we met with argued that they already pay taxes. The janitors are here and the lights are on until 11, so they're confused of why they need to pay more for this space now. Now, the district says that they do encourage programs to apply for fee waivers if needed, and parents hope to discuss all of this more in a meeting Wednesday night. Reporting in Ben Salem, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.